What's going on guys, Call to Mush back at it with a $500 gaming PC build. Before I get into this video, I think I did a pretty good job with this build. The one thing I don't like about it though, is that it doesn't lend itself to a lot of upgradability options as far as the CPU goes. So if you guys do want upgradability options with the CPU, I'll leave an Intel build in the description down below. But for just core gaming performance, this $500 build will do a damn good job. So starting things off with the CPU, I'm with the AMD Athlon X4 860K 3.7 GHz quad core processor. Now yes, it's an 860K which is a lower end processor but it's still quad core clocked at 3.7 GHz and it's only $70. It's a quad core which is pretty much essential to gaming these days, especially with your higher end games like your Witcher 3s and your Dying Lights and games like that. So the 860K was a very cheap option that's still going to get the job done and I mainly went with this because it's only $70 and like I said it's going to get the job done but you're also saving money and you can put that towards the graphics card which in a gaming build is the most important part of the build. For the motherboard I went with the Gigabyte ga f 2 a 888XM-D3H Micro ATX FM2 Plus motherboard. Now Gigabyte actually updates the BIOS out of the box so you don't have to worry about updating that so that's really nice. I went with this motherboard because it was a cheap motherboard. Again it's only $66 but there's also a mail-in rebate so if you decide to use that that's another $15 off the price so you'll get it for around $50. But it's a Micro ATX board with all the features you want. It's got 4 RAM slots so that's pretty nice up to 2133 MHz RAM and it's got 8 SATA 6 gigabit per second port so it doesn't have all the features in the world. It is a micro ATX board so it's not your full size board but for $66 you really can't go wrong with this motherboard and like I said there's a $15 mail-in rebate as well so if you decide to use that you'll get this motherboard for even cheaper so just a good deal all around and again it's a motherboard that has every feature you want it comes at a very cheap price but it's not overblown with features so it keeps the price down as well for memory I went with G-Skill Ripjaws X series 8 gigabytes to 4 gigabyte sticks running at 1600 megahertz this is $50 and even in a budget end build like this you definitely still want to get 8 gigabytes of RAM especially because of how cheap it is right now actually if if you shop on Newegg, you can get the motherboard and the RAM on a combo deal, and if you buy them together, you'll actually save around $13, so even more money saved right there, so that's pretty cool. But not much more to say about 8GB of RAM, it's two 4GB sticks at 1600MHz. The motherboard does have 4 RAM slots, so if you do want to go for 16GB in the future, that is an option. But right now, on a $500 budget build, that doesn't make a lot of sense at all, so 8GB for $50, two 4GB sticks from a name brand like G-Skill is a really great deal. For storage, I went with the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB 3.5-inch 7200 RP internal hard drive. Obviously not going with an SSD makes much more sense to go with the mass storage and you know for an SSD out of $50 you're probably only going to get 120 gigabytes at the most. But if you guys are okay with only having 120 gigabytes by all means go for an SSD but I think most of you would rather have the mass storage that you get out of the Caviar Blue so I went with that instead and for $52 this is a really solid deal. For the video card I was able to fit in an EVGA GeForce GTX 960 2 gigabyte super clocked video card. Now alongside the promotion that Nvidia has been doing recently that promotion is unfortunately over right now but it looks like they're quietly lowering the price of the GTX 960 as well. Right now this GPU I found it for $180 and even on sale you could probably find it a little cheaper so this is a great price for a very capable 1080p video card. Got 2 gigabytes of video buffer which is enough I know some of you guys would like 3 or 4 gigabytes that you could get out of an AMD GPU at around this price but for $180 I thought the GTX 960 was a winner of a GPU and it's gonna let you play all the games you want Witcher 3, Dying Light, Battlefield 4 at near max settings close to 60 frames Per second some of the higher end games you will have to tone down the settings a little bit Witcher 3 is one of them that if you do want to play that game at 1080p 60 frames per second you're probably gonna have to play at medium to high settings but for $180 this is a damn good GPU and I highly recommend it 1080p gaming no problem and at a very cheap price for the power supply I went with the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified ATX power supply this is one of the main reasons that I went with an NVIDIA GPU over a AMD GPU because AMD GPUs are typically known to be more power hungry than their NVIDIA counterparts so I went with an NVIDIA GPU so we could also save money on the power supply and you're only going to need a 500 watt power supply for this build. And $37 for 500 watts that's going to power the build no problem. At max it's probably only going to use around 350 to 400 watts so that's pretty good and a 500 watt power supply from EVGA for $37 you really can't turn that down. For the case I went with the Thermaltake V3 Black Edition ATX Mint Tower case. This has actually been a case that I've been recommending more often recently and that's just mainly because it's it's a really solid mid-tower case for a very cheap price. It's $38 on Micro Center, and it also has a $15 mail-in rebate. So if you use that mail-in rebate, you're getting this pretty decent case for only $23. And even if you don't use the rebate, you're still getting a pretty decent case for a really cheap price. This is a mid-tower case that aesthetically, honestly, for a sub-$40 case, looks pretty decent. It's going to do everything you want. It has decent ventilation. You can do 
through decent wire management and it not great but hey for a sub $40 case this is damn good and like I said there's a mail and rebate attached to it too so you can get this case really cheap if you are the kind of guy that uses the MIRs so thanks for watching this video guys like I said I'll have an Intel option in the description box down below at this $500 price tag it seems like you guys want options but I think this is a great route to go you're getting a quad core CPU and you're getting the GTX 960 in this build so thanks for watching and as always have a great day and I'll talk to you all later peace